Hello, my name is Saya, and today I will be walking you through how to use Runaway to rotoscope or mask any scene you want early in anime. So we're going to start by finding a scene where it constantly shows like the subject that you want uh, to be masked in your scene. This will make it easier for Runaway to actually mask what you want. If you extend your clip, you'll notice it'll change where the scene is. You don't want that, you just want it to stay on the same exact frame. Okay, so once you have your clip prepared, in my case, I'm going to twixture my scene after I mask it. So I cut out all the dead frames. You can watch a video from Pige on this. I'll leave the link in the description. So right here, I'm just going to right click, press uh, render in place, and then do MP4 H.264. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to press render. And then it'll appear with a folder where you want to render that compound clip in. And I'm just going to type in runway because I made a folder for this tutorial. I'm just going to select that folder and render that into the folder. Once you have the video rendered out, it won't have the cache at all if you have any effects or anything. And you can go to your browser, type in runway.ml. Then uh, if you don't have an account, you can sign up. It's free. But in my case, I have an account, so I'm going to log in. You'll see it'll bring up like a bunch of things. It's kind of confusing. But first, you want to go to this little sidebar right here and select projects. Go to the top right and press new project. Select video composition. And it'll bring me into the editor of Runway. So what I'm going to do is upload my video. Press upload, show all files, depends on what browser you're on. And then I want to find my compound clip render one. I have a lot of video files here. I'm just going to delete these. This is what it should say. If you named your clip compound clip one, it'll say render one. And if you render more than one after the first one, it'll say render two, render three, etc. So you want to open this and then it'll upload completely. And then you go to your assets right here and find your clip that you just uploaded. And drag it and drop into the viewer. And then you'll notice kind of like the quality drop. And that's because uh, Runway only supports up to 720p for uh, free users. This won't really matter in the end because there's a workaround to fix this in DaVinci. So we're going to start by going over to the AI magic tools on the right menu and pressing green screen. So the way this works is you tap little points on your subject and it will start to mask that area. For larger subjects like this, you'll want to add a bunch of dots throughout the entire thing. So you see if I click right here on his shoulder, it'll only select a chunk of it. What we want to do to fix that is just keep going across and making more selections. I'm just going to go along kind of like in a little outline. You'll start to see that your subject starts to become green. This is the area where your selections are being made and you just want to keep going along and making sure that every single chunk of your subject is actually selected in green. So right here, this is the first frame of the video. You can see basically everything I want is selected. But then you'll sometimes have an issue where the hair right here is kind of it's kind of having a hard time understanding that this is in the background and uh, the hair is like in the foreground. What you want to do is just uh, hold down control and you can use your uh, mouse wheel up and down. I'll zoom in and out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit on here. You can go up to the hand tool up here or you can press H and hold it down and drag across by using left click. And you can go into here, go over to the refine tool and press on the brush icon and you'll see it'll create like a little brush tool for you so you can do this manually and you want to adjust the brush size. Usually the areas that you want to adjust are pretty small so you might want to go down to like six, seven or maybe even one. Then you want to go into exclude which is the area that you don't want selected in your final render and you want to just paint across, kind of just go along here. This part's completely manual but if you make like a shape like this, I'm gonna wait a couple seconds, wait for it to load. It will sometimes take that entire shape and just get rid of it, but sometimes it won't as well. And you'll need to go back over like it did here. I'm just gonna adjust the size a little bit, make it easier for me to erase this. But I'm just gonna get rid of this area in the frame. Just keep adjusting the brush size to how you want it. It'll be easier to use like smaller sizes, obviously for smaller areas, but you can also do the small details with the small brush and then go back over with a bigger brush like I'm doing here. And once it's pretty much how you want it, you can press Shift F to fit the video back into your viewer. And it'll just make it perfectly fit. If you go to the next frame, you'll notice it'll automatically start creating frames based on the first selection that you make. Also notice is that the selections aren't perfect. It's not always entirely accurate. And just what you want to do is go back over with the brush like you did before. Get rid of these selections because this is in the background and you don't want that. So it's loaded. You can press Shift F again and go to the next frame. Basically, just want to keep going through and making sure that everything looks the way you want it to look. Notice right here, the color of his tie kind of changes. So it doesn't know that this area, the frame before, is the same thing as this before. So you want to go back to your include mode and then 
unselect the brush so you go back to the point method and you just click in that area if it keeps getting stuck on the loading page you can kind of just move forward off frame and it'll automatically render out the frame that it's loading and you can keep going through you notice the there's maybe new colors being brought brought into your scene right here he has a red tie that's being brought in since there's no other frame before that to reference on it doesn't understand that it needs to include this in your mask so what you want to do is just go through here and click on the white areas and the red areas and you'll notice here since his shirt is kind of similarly colored to the background right here it's gonna it like makes a selection based on color usually and it thinks that this area of the shirt is the same color as this so it will automatically select there i'm just gonna go back over with the brush tool again and exclude this area so i'm not gonna go over this super perfectly or anything i'm just gonna kind of give it a rough uh, mask here kind of just how i want it in my case i'm not gonna make it perfect for you you probably want to make it as good as you can and i this is this is good enough for me but basically you just want to keep going over it until it is to your liking and now once you've gone over every single frame and made sure you made like the exact selections you want go to the top right of your screen and press done masking then you'll see the background will change to black because it gets rid of the background scene here i'm just gonna select the outside of the play viewer so select outside of here and go to the right menu click adjust color under background and change the, uh, the color right here and you want to go to export on the top right like i said before it's going to be in 720p but there is a workaround in davinci result so i'm going to name this compound clip one mask and just press export video and then it will go into your projects or your assets and you can just go to the top right of your screen and press go to export normally your screen won't have as many exports as mine does because i've used this before and then i just want to go to this mask clip right click and press download and then i'm going to head back to davinci resolve and grab my masked compound clip which i dropped into my media pool i'm going to drag and drop onto my timeline and you'll see it'll have a green screen like we did in the runway software then i'm going to delete this and find the fusion composition effect in the effects toolbox type in fusion composition and if you want to reuse this later there's a favoriting system where you can right click and add a favorites i already have mine in my favorites so i can just go up here and grab it and then i want this clip to be around two seconds long open this in the fusion page and then i'm going to go onto my media pool up top find the masked scene i'm going to press f2 to rename this to the mask scene and then i'm going to find my original render then i'm going to add a mat control node you can find it on your default toolbox it'll look like this or you can type in mat control by pressing control space add that and then you want to rename this one by pressing f2 to original and then plug this original into the yellow input you can select which input you put it into by holding alt when you drop the pipe out into the pipe in here and you just want to press background background usually means yellow and foreground is usually green and i want to take my mass input here hold down alt and then drop it into here and press garbage map and then when we drag this map control into our viewer it will show only that area and i'm going to click up here and hide my media pool and then you'll notice that this is just masking out the entire scene here and that's because we haven't gotten rid of the green screen here i'm just going to press control space and type in delta key here. press 2 to view this into this viewer and i'm going to select the background color as green right here and then it will show this checkered background which signifies that there is a alpha background here i'm just gonna move this up i'm gonna view the mac control again you'll see it's just too small that's because the video that we rendered here is 1920 by 1080 and then the video that we masked from runway is 1280 by 720 and that's because runway only supports 720p for free users here i'm just going to go to the delta here select it and press control space and add in the resize node and then that will automatically scale up the image to 1080p it doesn't really matter if this loses any quality you'll see there'll be some pixelation and that doesn't really matter because it's only using the selection of the alpha values once we go back to here you'll see that it gets rid of the character and you want to go into garbage map up here and press invert so it's basically saying that whatever this selection is is getting destroyed or garbage matted out of here you're going to invert that selection so you want the opposite of that then you'll notice there's some edges of your mask that don't look right you can go into the delta key here and go to map and lower the threshold and it will select less you'll get some errors like this so don't crush the lows too much I just like to crush it a little bit and we can decrease the road dilate which basically makes the selection area less and you can blur it a little bit to add a little bit of feathering to the selection you can go back to the map control and view it and you'll see that the mask looks a little neater mine doesn't look the best because i didn't go over it as much as i should have for the sake of time and then i'm going to drag this into the media out and you'll see your mask scene so like i said before i wanted my clip to be twixtered in the end so now the background is going to be appear as black that's because there's nothing behind this and i'm going to just for like you want your scene to be like less laggy you can right click here press render in place and you want to go to quick time then you want to select gopro sign form and select rgb and save it back to your folder take a second here now that i view this it'll still be a black background but if i go to generators or if you put really anything in the background it will be whatever is selected in the background instead of just a black background and you can go into fusion with this render and it'll still keep those alpha values 